Yo, what is up beautiful people? Welcome back to yet another video. Today I will be showing you how I qualify an account to that little tournament. And without further ado, enjoy the video. All right, I'm about to log in and the first thing we're going to do, we're gonna spawn in Gnome Stronghold and get 10 agility. And I'm also going to be trading all the items that I will need for, for my levels from my main account. And that is because I played most of the season, even though I didn't really record it. And during the time of the season, I bought myself all the items, uh, obviously knowing in advance that I will need to qualify. Um, now with that being explained, let's create an account. And let's get right into it. I'm always excited. I don't know why. I have a whole list that I have it planned basically. And we're gonna make a cool looking dude. That's not cool. Oh, there we go. The Green Boy is what I'm gonna call myself. As that my season has progressed for a week, uh, certain quests and music tracks have been unlocked. All right, that's fine. Boom, account created. We talk to Skippy real quick. And the first thing, as I said, that we have to do is I'm an experienced player and we're gonna go to Gnome Stronghold. Uh, send me to mainland and Gnome Stronghold. There we go. And we're gonna go straight into agility for the start. Um, I have my accounts in the bank waiting because I have two full inventories of loot that I'm going to trade. Um, and uh, let's, just, uh, let's just get right into it, I guess. There we go, 10 agility. Now I wanna make my way to the bank. Obviously I'll just finish the course, cause why not get that bonus XP. And now I'll quickly show you all the items that I trade from uh, from accounts over, just so it uh, makes the job so much more easier for me. Uh, accept, 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 accept. Throw that into the bank real quick. And uh, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Accept, 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 accept. Close this. There we go, 54 Herblor. And now the next thing that we're gonna do is take some leather items. And I need needle and thread. And now we're gonna get some crafting up really quick. 50 crafting. Let's see if I can get one. Oh, I can't get one more. Okay, so now we need the Camelot. We need the arrow shafts. And we need the uh, uh, feather. Beautiful. Let's go Camelot. And now we're gonna get our smithing up really quickly. There it is, 50 smithing. Now we're gonna chop some trees. And there we go, 50, uh, 50 flanching as well. Now let's get uh, um, 50 wood cutting, and then we're gonna fish, finish 50 fire making. Cause I'll do it all, all in one sitting. So I think no ref picking today, but anyways, 50 wood cutting. Let's grab our willow logs from the bank and start burning. Uh, start burning real quick. Um, so we have some willow logs, 150, that will get me exactly to level 50. Let's do it. There we go, 60 fire making came through there. Beautiful, and we're making our way to Ardun right now to uh, rake some patches and compost those patches for, for, for farming XP. I'm not gonna bother planting anything because it's just not worth it because I'm not never gonna pick those up. So we're just making our way uh, right to the patch right here. We're gonna rake all of it, compost all of it, and then we're gonna move on to go back to Camelot, do that in Camelot as well. And then we're gonna go to Varrock and uh, continue with the plan. All right, we raked all of the patches and now we're gonna go to Varrock. We're going to buy house and we're gonna start training some construction real quick. There it is, 50 construction. Now we're gonna teleport to Lumbridge and we're gonna go get ourselves uh, Barrel's Gloves, the starter kit, and then we're gonna go to Drainer Course and get 30 Agility, and in the process we're gonna get the Ghost Speak as well. So uh, a couple of small things that we're basically going to do next. I made myself some food during the, lo the, 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 what, whatever, during the, what's it called, the cutscene, uh, buy ourselves some Barrel's Gloves, and now we're gonna go to Drainer and we're gonna train Agility all the way to 30. And after that, more training to come. There you go, we got 30 Agility. Uh, we will get this later up by doing the course in Varrock. But now the next thing is we're gonna go to Falador Patch. 
we're gonna get more farming by using compost and raking the patches. And then we're gonna go on Entrana and get our fishing and cooking up. So that's the goal for now. 20 fishing on the docks on Entrana. And now we're gonna cook those fishes and then catch some trouts all the way to 50 right down here. So in the process, I wanna get 30 fishing as well because I have some uh, tuna that I bought and we're gonna get uh, the rest of the cooking up with tunas. Uh, but yeah. 30 cooking. I will finish cooking this inventory so I burn less tunas later on. Um, and then that's gonna be it for cooking. We're just gonna get fishing to 50. Am I looking forward to the Deadman final? Nah, honestly, I'm afraid, man. I, I'm not looking forward to it just because of what happened to this one. And I don't really have much more safety for the next one, so. There we go, 50 fishing. Let's go to Karend and uh, start training our combat stats. 50 strength, let's get attack to 50. We got 50 attack as well, let's get 50 defense. 50 defense, let's go all the way to the cooking uh, range, which is just above here. And we're gonna get ourselves 60 cooking by cooking uh, about 120 for tuna. Let's do it. Never mind, I'm trolling. I need to get 50 range first. I just forgot about it. There we go, this time for real, I got 50 range and 50 magic, both of which I forgot to get up for whatever reason. Um, I think I get to 60 fishing now, let's do it. And there it is, 60 cooking, let's get our thieving up. We're gonna start off by getting our thieving up from the men. Now I'm gonna take a couple of these tunas that I have right now. Uh, and I think the man is located somewhere in the crossroad just south of here, like just about here, I should find the man. And then all the way to level 5 and then to cake stalls. There it is, yeah. Uh, so last time around that I was qualifying, I actually uh, didn't find the man for a while. So there we go, that was 5 thieving, pretty lucky. And let's get to the center and get uh, uh, the thieving up even more with cakes. 25. And there it is, 50 thieving. That took a little bit of time. Now we're gonna get 40 agility in Varok, and after that we're gonna go and get our hunter up. There we go, we got 40 agility, we're finishing the lap, and then we're teleporting to Castle Wars, going to Yanil, buying traps, running south, and getting 30 hunter. Let's do it. Just got myself all the way to 30 um, hunter, and now we're going to get ourselves 50 prayer at, at, pray at Ecto. Uh, as soon as we're done with that, we will then go and finish 50 Hunter in the Swamp and 50 Agility in the Canifis area. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna have to grab myself a Ghost Peak Amulet right here real quick. So grab that and uh, bank all of these because I will not need that. And I don't think I need these either. And we're good. And here we go, Prayer Training. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, almost dead. 43 prayer. Dude, how stupid is that? Holy shit, that's broken, man. Nice. And more levels. I have a lot of more bones, but I will just not use them right now. Or... Actually, let's do one more bone. Oh, no, that's 50 prayer. That should be enough. Um, I can always get more prayer later on if I want to, but uh, I need to go through, then I need to rake the patches and compost the patches, and then after that we will be getting ourselves 50 Hunter and 50 Agility. So my goal is to get to Canifis, get Agility, and then get Hunter up as well. That will be 50 Agility, not bad, let's get 50 Hunter. 50 Hunter accomplished, now we're gonna go to Falador and we're gonna get ourselves mining up to level 50. And there we go, 50 mining is accomplished and now we need to get our uh, rune crafting up, we're gonna do that getting to Castle Wars and... Oh no, I actually fucked up. We're going to Falador, getting 14 on an Air Altar and then getting 40 on Fire Altar and then there's only one thing left which is Slayer. 40 rune crafting accomplished. And now the funnest thing for the end is going to be a Slayer. We're gonna end it all with some Slayer action, so it should be a lot of fun. The first Wilderness task is Ice Giants. Alright, uh, alright, shouldn't be too big of an issue, I guess. 
Uh, the plan is to... I will melee them most likely. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely melee them. Uh, the plan is to get 55 defense first, so I can wear the Needy's non helm. And that's honestly all there is about the plan. Um, I guess I will probably get 60 attack in the process, so I should probably get myself a Dragon Scimitar really fast as well. So I'll do that, and then I'll go and kill them. Hey, get snipes, what's up, dude? Hey, there we go, 55 defense, let's get attack to 60, so we can wield the uh, Dragon Scimitar. Then finish 60 strength, 60 defense, and then I think the time will probably be up, I would assume. But yeah, I'm already, I already think that this total level will be enough to qualify, but I'll get to 1.2k total, just because that's what how I always do things. We got an emblem, not that I will ever use it, but it's an emblem, I guess. There we go, 60 attack, let's get 60 strength. And with the next level, we actually are going to... We're actually going to reach the level that we wanted uh, when we created the account, which is 1.2k total. With that total level, I will definitely be more than safe uh, getting into the Deadman Mode tournament on this account. You can see the stats on the screen. This task, for whatever reason, I actually got four emblems. I'm still gonna finish these 40 minutes. I'll see what I'll end up doing. Probably just gonna finish this task, see what the next task is, and then just... I actually might just log out, honestly. Or I might just go at Sand Crabs and AFK there for a bit, because why not? Um, but yeah, those are the stats, as you can see. If I wanted to get more total levels, for example, if the total level cap was a bit higher, I would most likely get a higher cooking level, a higher fishing level, because those levels are really, really easy to get, a higher fire making level, probably wood cutting level, I can easily get like 40, 50 levels in, in those stats combined very, very quickly. But yeah, I'm gonna finish this task and then probably conclude this account. Uh, but so far, I'm pretty happy with how the six hours went. Uh, it was really relaxing. Um, and uh, yeah, the account is qualified for the tournament. And I am pretty happy. So for those of you interested, I played a couple of league games and just AFK the account on the side. And those are the stats on the conclusion of this video. I've been AFKing here for probably about an hour extra. No PKers, the dead one mode is pretty dead, but for some reason I might just go for 99 strength just because I have nothing to do when I play League anyways and AFKing Sand Crabs is really not that hard. Uh, but yeah, thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching the video. Sorry I've been away for a while, um, some in real life stuff, uh, also summer is here so you know I don't want to sit inside play games all the time. Um, but videos should be slowly returning and I also have some new series planned that should be a lot of fun to watch honestly. Also, before I conclude the video, a lot of people in the last, uh, like three months ago, when I did a very similar video showing how I qualified, some people were angry with me because I traded the, the, the items from my main account to this account, or to my alt account, for example. Now, to clarify, um, I play the season, I buy my items, and then I trade them over knowing that uh, this is what I want to do, knowing that I want to qualify my account. Now, people wanted to see if you can do the six-hour account from literally sc starting from scratch, and the answer to this is yes, but you need to take a very different route. Also, it's going to be basically impossible to get the items uh, from the Grand Exchange, so you need to play it as an Iron Man kind of thing, and you need to get the items for yourself, for example, planks for yourself, herbs from yourself, uh, bones for yourself and it takes a bit longer and maybe you don't get to qualify in six hours Maybe you need some extra hours to qualify if you make everything from scratch uh, But this is this video was how I qualify my deadman mode account and hopefully you guys enjoyed I'll see you again very soon and until then have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye